Okay, moving on to chapter six, video six. Here we're gonna be finding the original amount. Um, and this actually goes with 6.6, .6, but again, there's gonna be two videos for this section, so we'll call it 6.6 .6 video A. So in this problem, you're gonna to need to know, they have to tell you the new amount. And by new amount, oops, by new amount, I mean like the sale price or whatever it is after it's already gone up or down. And you're gonna to have to know, they'll tell you the percent of the change. So we'll look at some examples, obviously. But you know what it is now, you know how much it changed. It's kind of like working backwards to figure out what the original amount was. What was the original amount that it started as, okay? Again, like we did before, you're gonna to have to calculate the correct percent to use in the problem. So I'm gonna call that the new percent that I'm gonna be actually using in my work. They're gonna give me a percent in the problem, this percent of the change, but that's not what I'm actually plugging in as I do the work. So let's see what this looks like. Okay, in the proportion, we know this is always 100. This is the original amount that we're trying to find. So this is what we're looking for. We're gonna know the new amount, which goes up here in the A or the part, and we're gonna have to plug in the new percent. Okay, so this will be given in the problem. They're gonna tell me a, a percent that I'm gonna use to find this, and then I'm gonna cross multiply to figure out the original. In the equation, new amount, is equal to the new percent, right, as a decimal, times the original. And this is what I'm trying to find, so I'm gonna have to solve to get W by itself, okay? So this is what we're looking for, and this is what we're looking for. And like normal, we'll do some examples with the proportion and some with the equation and then you get to pick. All right, this first one, it says the population went up 70%. Now it's at 425. Okay, cool. So if it went up 70%, they're telling me this percent of change, but I need to figure out, great, what is it now? What's the new percent that it's at now? So if something goes up 70%, that means now it's at 170%. The original was 100, it went up by 70, now it's at 170. So this is what I'm gonna actually plug in for P in my proportion. Okay, so the new amount goes here, now it's 425. That's 170% of what number? And that's what I'm looking for, okay? And then the 100 goes here. So the original was 100%, now it's this amount, which is 170%, cross multiply to find the W. Okay, so I did that in my calculator, and I got that the W is 250. And that makes sense. It started at 250, went up 70%, and now it's at 425. Cool. Let's do one with the equation. Current level is 127.8. 127.8. I didn't need to underline that. We're doing the equation. But that's the new amount. And that's after it went up 42%. Okay, if it went up 42%, that means now it's at 142%. So my new percent is 1.42 for the P as a decimal, and then times W. So I'm gonna divide by 1.42 on both sides. Put that in your calculator. And I got that the whole or the original was 90. So let's check, check and see if that's reasonable. It started at 90, went up an extra 42%, and now it's at 127. Yep, that seems good. So I want you to try these next two. I know we only just started. Maybe do one with the proportion, one with the equation. So this one says it went down 30%, and now it's at 24 and a half. Okay, remember, you're gonna have to do something with that. It went down 30%, so what is it now? 
If you recognize that this is a decrease, it's going to come off the 100, right? So it was 100, it went down by 30, so now I'm at 70. Make sure you use 70 in your proportion. Or in this case, now it's at 32, this is down 80%. Well, if it was at 100 and it went down 80%, now it's at 20. So make sure you use 20 in your equation here. So try setting these up, pause, set them up, and then check your answers when you're ready. So I put my 70 in here for P, new amount goes there, cross multiply, and I got 35 points. So it was at 35, went down 30%, now it's at 24. Seems right. All right, this one, I put in 0.2 into my equation for 20%, and now it's at 32. It started at 160, but it's gone down by 80%. Brings me to 32. Okay, let's turn the page and keep going. So now we're going to look at some problems with money. If you're at the store buying something. Discount. A discount means the price is reduced. Okay, this could be on sale or clearance or a coupon. And what's important to recognize here is that the P, the new P, new percent that you put into your work, will be less than 100% because it went down. There's a reduction in the price. You're paying less than the full amount. Okay, so let's do one here. So if the sale price is $38.40, that's your part or your new amount. Let's say it's 40% off, okay? Think about it first. If they take 40% off, what's the new percent that you're still paying for? Well, I could do 100 minus 40. I'm still paying for 60% of the price. That's what's left, okay? So 38.40 is 60% of what number? So my work would look like this. New amount, new percent, find the original, okay? And when I cross multiply this, I get that W is 64. So type that in, double check me, but I get the original price was $64. It's 40% off today. They're gonna charge me 38. Let's do one with the equation. This one, on sale now only 66.30. That goes in my new price up here in the A spot for part. Okay, 15% off. Well, what percent am I paying for? 100 minus 15 that they take off, I'm paying for 85%. So we're still doing some work here to figure out the P that we're actually going to plug in and use. We're paying for 85%, so this price is 85%. What was the full price that was 100%? So find W. Oops, I was supposed to do the equation. Pretend that's the equation. <laughs> so I would um, solve for W, or in this case, as I set it up, cross multiply, and I get that W is 78. Let's do this one together then, since I forgot to do the equation. 2475 is my new sale price. 10% off means I'm paying for 90% times W, there we go, divide by 0.9, and here I get that the original price, the full price, was 27.50. So it started at 27.50, take 10% off, brings it down to 24.75. Okay, so you can see proportion or equation, both work the same. I'm showing you both ways and you can pick which way you like better. Let's go on to this question. Okay, a lot of times the question might say, or you might want to know, how much did you save? You're like, great, it was on sale. How much did you save? Because you bought it on sale. Well, all you need to do is find the difference. Right? Original minus new. Subtract them. Just subtract them to find how much money you saved. Okay? So, for example, in this one, I got the original price was $64, but I only paid $38.40. If I just subtract those, I'll figure out how much I saved. 
In this one, the original price I said was 78, but I only paid 66.30. Subtract those to figure out how much you saved. And in this one, original price was 27.50, but I only paid 24.75. Subtract those to figure out how much you saved. Okay? That's the easiest way. All right. Markup. What is a markup? A markup price is increased. Right? So the store makes money. We've talked about that. And the new percent that you're going to put in is going to be over 100%. Okay? So, for example, let's say the store adds on a 35% markup and they are going to put a price tag that says 168.75. What did they pay for it? Or what was the original price for the store? Well, Remember, I've got to calculate the percent that the new percent that the customer is paying. So if the store added on 35, the customer is now paying 135%. So I'd put that in for P. This is still 100. Customer pays 168.75. Or that's the new price, right? And I'm looking for the original price here. So cross multiply that. And I got. If you double check me, 125. So the store paid 125, they mark it up, and they charge you 168. Makes sense. How about this one? 62.52, and I'm going to do the equation. 62.52 is the new price. 82% markup, so that means the customer is paying 182% of the original price or whatever the store paid. And to solve that, divide by 1.82 on both sides. And I get that the store paid $36. So they got it from the manufacturer or, or wholesaler at $36 and they put a price tag on it of $62 to make their money. So you pick which way you wanna do it, proportion or equation, and then solve this one. 30% markup. Okay, here's my work for this one. When I um, did that, the store paid $30. So again, there might be a question that says, well, how much was the markup? How much did the store make? Another way to say this is, what was the profit to the store? Okay, so again, we're just going to find the difference. Original minus new, or in fact, you could flip that around, right? Because in this case, the customer is going to pay more, but we're just looking for what's the difference between what the store paid and what the customer paid. So in this one, I'll set one of these up. Store paid 125, customer paid 168.75, and I just keep the absolute value of that. If it makes more sense, customer paid 62.52, store only paid 36, subtract to find out how much the store made as profit. This one, the customer paid 39, store only paid 30, then the store made $9 in profit. Okay? Okay, what about if we want to figure out what the total was before we added on a tip or a tax? Well, you're going to do these just like the markup. You're, you're paying more than 100%, you've got to figure out what the original price was. So I'll do one as a proportion and one as an equation again. You ended up paying that total, so that's your new price, $1,116. And with a 6% tax, you paid 106%, find the original price. Or this one, you paid $1,680. That's with 20% um, tip, so 120% if I'm doing the equation here and I'm looking for the original price like that. So you would solve these just the same way. Okay, so go ahead and finish. I have one more um, tip and one more tax problem. Solve these and then come back and check. Okay, so I finished these. Make sure you put in 125%, 106% for your new P. So could you find how much the tip was or how much the tax was? Yes, again, you're gonna subtract.
or just find the difference from the original to the new price to find out how much was tip, how much was tax. Okay? So this difference, new minus original, will be the amount of the tip or the amount of the tax.